<sighs> Alright, this automatic repair issue is probably driving you crazy. So we are going to find out 5 different ways of fixing this. And I am not going to show you a bunch of command prompt tricks because oftentimes they don't always work. So this video will be simple, practical and straightforward so let's waste no time and let's get straight to the point. The first thing you should do is try disconnecting and reconnecting any devices that are connected to your PC like your mouse, uh, USB devices and so on. The reason is because sometimes when these devices are unstable or incompatible or not connected right, it may lead to this issue. So try doing that and then restart your PC to see if it's working now. If this did not work, the second thing you should do is a system restore. This will take your PC back to a point before the problem began in the first place. So if this works out successfully, it will fix the problem. To do that, all you have to do is click advanced options and then click uh, troubleshoot and then click advanced options again and now click system restore and this will bring up the system restore tool. Once that is opened, proceed and now choose a system restore point. So ideally you should choose a time before the problem occurred and now click next. And there you go, to begin simply click finish and this will begin the system restore process. The third way to fix this is by using the startup repair tool. This will find out what the problem is and then is going to try to fix it. To do that, simply click advanced options and then click troubleshoot and then click advanced options again and now click startup repair. And there you go, this will begin searching for what the problem is and then it's going to fix it for you. The fourth thing you can try doing is a system reset. And for me, that's my favorite because it literally makes your computer brand new again, just like when you first bought it. To do that, simply click advanced options and then click troubleshoot and then choose reset this PC. Once you have done this, you will see two options. You will see an option that allows you to keep your files and then you will see an option that tells you to remove everything. Now of course many of you will choose the option that says to keep your files. Choose that option and then this will begin resetting your PC. Alright, worst case scenario, let's say you've tried absolutely everything and nothing works, Windows 10 is completely corrupted. Well, if that's the case, you need to reinstall Windows 10 from a different source. And you can do that by reinstalling Windows 10 via a bootable USB flash drive. And if even this method I'm going to show you does not work, well, it likely means that your computer has a more serious physical or mechanical problem. And what you may have to do is either fix that or replace the computer entirely. Alright, let's begin. So to do this, you are going to need a USB flash drive and you are going to need another Windows 10 computer. Now you can use any other Windows 10 computer like your, your friend's PC and so on. Now I've already made a very easy to understand video on how to create a bootable USB flash drive. You can find that from the link in the video description. It also shows how to boot the USB as well. Alright, so now let's say you've watched the video and you have booted from the USB. You should now see this screen that allows you to install Windows 10. Simply click install now to begin. After accepting the license terms, you will see this screen that gives you two options to install Windows 10. Choose the custom option. Great, now you can see a list of drives where you can install Windows 10. Now you may get uh, an error that says Windows can install this specific partition or drive. If that is the case, simply delete it and then create a new one with the exact same amount of space. Once you do that, it's brand new. You can install Windows 10 on that drive. So go ahead, select that drive that you just created in case there was a problem. And then you see that Windows 10 will begin installing. And there you go, this will begin installing Windows 10 from your USB flash drive. This is great because it is not dependent on your system files because they may have been completely, completely corrupted.